Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie. Today I'm going to be using um, a little something something. I said I wasn't going to buy it, but I did. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. I'm going to show you guys my attempt at a tutorial. This is the second look that I've come up with, um, and this is my second attempt, because the first look, I didn't know what I was doing. This was literally a couple hours ago. I started doing a tutorial, hated it, wiped it off, came up with this, still in love it. This is not by any means a review, this is just me attempting to use the palette. But anyways, if you guys want to see how to achieve um, this look here, this, uh, this this thing here. Um, uh, just keep watching because I'm uh, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so this is my second attempt at filming this video. I literally just used a wipe, wiped off my eyes, and I'm starting over. So if you see shadow underneath, um, yeah. So I was doing a look. It looked um, fucking awful, and um, I wasn't loving it. And I was gonna give up, but then I saw on my YouTube, like in my YouTube subscription box, this video from, or the thumbnail for a video from Ann Nook, and I really liked, oh, hold on, please don't mind how like filled with thumbprints my screen is, or fingerprints, um, I saw this video from Ann Nook, um, this is supposed to be for the Jaclyn Hill Vault collection, but I liked the way that the look looks so much that I thought like, okay, let's do that. So I'm first going to use the color called Base. Um, this is on a uh, Real Techniques brush, and I'm just brushing that all over their the, the, there, all over them their lid. It's a satiny kind of color, so it has more of a skin-like look and texture to it. But of course, like Anastasia shadows, it's got um, a lot of kick up there. <laughs> Um, and then I'm going to use, this is a Morphe M5 a brush. I'm going to dip into the color right here called Love. And I'm going to go into the crease with this. And I'm taking like just the tiniest bit at a time. I'm going in just a tiny bit at a time into the crease, really building up the that color. Also, my eyes are doing so much better than they were in the last video. They're not crusty. They're still a little dry, but they're not, like, they're not that bad. It could be worse. I've dealt with worse, obviously. So I'm going to take this color up kind of high. Not too high. I don't want to go up to the brow bone, but I definitely want to be around here is where I want the color to kind of fade off. And with Anastasia shadows, there's no, like, learning curve, but you do have to kind of be, um a little more cautious with them um you know I'm oh I just got the weirdest text message ever oh my god I just got a text message from a guy that I went on two dates with three years ago and he asks uh if this is still my number I'm gonna ignore this for now Wow, what a weird message. He's probably going to ask if I want to go on another date with him. And, um, I don't. <laughs> well, maybe he's going to ask if I want to go on another date with him. I don't know. Oh, I feel weird. My heart feels weird now. What a weird place I'm in at this, at this second. Wow. I'm shaking a little. This is weird. I have anxiety. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I've got that pink down now. And I'm feeling really optimistic about this palette. Um, at this moment, just because, like... When I first started this tutorial, I had no idea what kind of look I was going to do, but now I have more of a solid kind of vision, um, especially looking at the thumbnail from Ann Nook. I'm also going to turn my phone volume on silent. What a strange time I'm living in. My god. Okay, then I'm going to go into the color called Soul, which is the um, shade that is meant to be like most like Norvina. Because this is her palette, obviously. Oh my god, I'm literally, like, I'm shaking right now. God, fuck anxiety, dude. God damn, okay. I'm going to go into a color called Soul on a MAC 217. I'm just kind of tapping off any excess. And I'm going in a little bit lower than the color called Love. And I'm wince 
wind shield wiper motion my god can't speak english i'm windshield wiper motioning this color into the crease into the pink color i still kind of have beef with this palette i mentioned a few videos ago that i wasn't going to pick this palette up i did obviously um along with the soft glam which has not been used yet when I first saw this palette, I was like, I don't need it. Like, it's not groundbreaking whatsoever. I did touch the shades, by the way. It's not groundbreaking whatsoever, but it's beautiful. I'm hoping that you can't see how dirty my room is in the mirror. Anyways, moving on. Um, okay, gonna go into the color called Soul. On the other eye. And I'm just going into the crease with this color. And again, kind of going a little bit up with it. Oh, anyways, I was saying about the palette. I still have beef with it a little bit. I just feel like, to me, it's like, like when I swatched this in store when I finally saw it, to me, that color is like, it's Mud City, basically. Um, and it's kind of transferring that way onto the, the eyes, too. I feel like it's, you know, in the last attempt at this video, I felt like the color was a little muddy, especially blending into this pink color. And people will say it's because it has shimmer in it. It's not. I think it's just the tone of the shadow. In this palette, there's really only four actual matte colors, um, which is Passion, Eccentric, Volatile, and Incense. Um, Love, Soul, and Base are more satiny than anything, so a satin's gonna have more of a skin-like finish. Um, when I put on, like, obviously when I put on base, um, it had a sheen to it. It, again, has a skin-like finish. You can kind of see it here. It's not flat. It has a bit of dimension to it. That's more of what a satin is, you know, all about. And then I'm gonna take the color called Passion. This is where things got a little fucked up in my last attempt, is when I mixed Passion with Soul, because again, it just started to get really muddy. Oh, and then also when I tried like mixing like some of the shimmers, they're really crumbly. They are very, very crumbly. I'm gonna dip into the color called Passion onto a Morphe M507 brush. And I'm gonna go in and go right underneath the soul color. Oh God. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna diffuse a little bit. Here's what I will say. It deepened the color soul. You can kind of tell it's definitely darker here than it is here. Um, the two shades instead of, you know, um, uh, what I wanted to do was kind of layer love, um, or no, I mean, um, yeah, love, soul, and then passion. What it instead kind of does is the shadows are so soft, so like soul and passion just kind of mix together instead of like layering. Which I guess like looking at the picture from Anne um, with this specific look, I don't, I'm not too mad at it. That's kind of, I guess kind of what I want. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I just put a little bit of love um, on top of the soul color. Again, gonna... Go back in with soul so it's like a it's a it's a gradient basically okay again gonna do the same thing with passion and again kind of i'm really instead of you know going up blending upwards i'm literally just placing the shades in the actual socket going right around like the orbital bone here i really don't hate the way this looks that's not it's not bad so I'm feeling incredibly optimistic at the moment. And then also in like typical me style, I'm going in with, you know, the brushes that I've used before. Um, like right now, I just went with my 217. Oh my God, I can't speak English. I have a lot of anxiety. I'm sorry. I went with the 217, um, kind of buffed that out a little bit with no additional product. But just like the last eye, I'm going in with a little bit more of love and buffing over the top of Soul just to kind of uh, reinforce that color, I would say. I'm gonna go a little bit higher up here as well. I'm not hating it. I'm not like loving it, but I'm not hating it either. I'm gonna go with a little bit more soul here. 
I still don't love it, but moving on. I'm gonna take the color. Do I wanna use one or the or both of them? Because I, what I wanna do is I wanna try and use um, as many colors as I possibly can in a way that will look good. Because I don't want. Uh, I what I don't want is to just use a couple colors and be like, okay, well that's a look. Because it's pretty much. Uh, my beef with this palette is when I'm looking at it, I just don't feel very inspired. Um, and some people might say I'm an uninspired, um, talentless hack, and um, they'd be right. So do I, I don't know if I want to use, because I'm going to use one of the other, hold on, either Celestial or Drama. I'm just going to take a look at the picture again. I think I'm going to take, I think I'm going to do both. I'm going to do both. I'm going to mix them together to create one purple kind of color. So I'm going to mix... Celestial, Drama, Celestial, again the two purples, gonna go with some Fix Plus, cause it does need it, it does. And then I'm just gonna swipe that onto the eye. I should have maybe cut the crease, but no it's fine, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go all in, in this bitch. And I'm just kind of going around the entire lid with that color. I'm looking at this from far away. I'm still like not loving it, to be honest. I'm not. We're too late now. It's too late. We're not gonna go back. I'm just gonna mix. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I know this is cheating a little bit. I'm gonna use the Dazzle Shadow Liquid in the color Pantherize from MAC. This really amazing, intense, in person, on camera. It's is doing it no justice in person it's this beautiful purple with a little bit of like a greenish duochrome um it's an amazing color and i'm just gonna apply that onto the lid I'm not i'm gonna try not to open my eyes i'm looking down and then with that same this is a sunny cash brush by the way with that same brush i'm just gonna kind of uh pat that out a little bit that looks better. <laughs> like the two colors, like listen, the shimmer didn't look bad. It's the crease that I'm just like not loving. I feel like I definitely want to try these shades out some more or the palette out a little bit more um, just to kind of really figure out some cool looks with it. If I end up still like not really loving it because I'm just not loving it right now. Um, if I'm still not loving it, I'm just going to return it. Okay. I think I'm just going to go on with a little bit more of the color Passion, just into the crease to add a little bit more depth. Again, more into the socket than anything. And then instead of taking the Soul, I'm going to take a little bit more of Love and blend that out a little bit. Literally, I'm just going with like the lightest, lightest touch of the color Love. And again, kind of blending over that. Ooh, maybe I am feeling like it's the shimmer that's kind of making it muddier than usual. You know what palette's really muddy on me though is um, Modern Renaissance. I feel like that gets super duper, just like they all blend together, none of them are separate. Um, I can't create, you know, one really nice look with it. I feel like it just kind of especially the deeper tone, Cypress Umbra, it just kind of gets really muddy as soon as I put it onto the eye. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like, I'm gonna leave the eyes like that. And I'm gonna move on to um, Z Face. I'm gonna be so fucking mad if this entire video is out of focus. Hold on, let me just like, how tan am I really right now? Am I a C2 tan or am I a C3 tan? I don't know. I'm gonna go in with some C2 face and body from MAC as Per usual. Yeah, I'm more of a C2 right now, it looks like. I was a C3 a couple days ago with my fake tan, but I scrubbed it off in the shower today, most of it anyway, because I found out that I must have smudged it or something because uh, my arms look like they have, it looks like I have vitiligo. By the way, I just concealed with Studio Finish Concealer um, and NC25. Then I'm gonna do my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the color Almond to highlight the face a little bit. 
especially since my neck is significantly lighter than my face at the moment, but my shoulders are tanner. I, oh my god, the thumbnail for this video is gonna be like me holding up the Anastasia palette with like a thumbs up or a thumbs down and like one of those like faces, like literally. This isn't a review by the way, it's literally just me attempting to do a tutorial with this palette and kind of failing it because now I'm looking at it again and I still don't like it. I still do not like this friggin' look. I feel like they're still muddy, they're still not super blendable. Oh, and I got fucking concealer in my shadow! God damn it, get out of there. I think I'm gonna take the color called Accentuate. This is from the All the Right Angles Contour Palette from MAC, which is limited edition, it's been discontinued since. I'm gonna use this color to kind of go underneath my eyes and set them and kind of highlight the face a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to go in with a contour stick. I'm gonna use my favorite, as you guys know, the Studio Fix Perfecting, or no, the Studio Fix um, Quick Trick Stick. I'm gonna use Earth Nut, and I'm gonna cream bronze slash contour up this face, honey. Oh my god, literally the sound of my jacket hitting my arm is so funny. Oh, by the way, I got this jacket. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I got this jacket when I got the white top. This I got from, um, Ragstock, which I don't really shop there often, but I got this from there. I think I'm just gonna highlight a little bit here too. Okay, then I'm gonna use the Aaliyah bronzer. This is the color Baby Girl um, on my really big MAC 1. Oh god, I don't know what number this is. This dirty ass motherfucker. And I'm just gonna bronze up like I usually do. I have not filmed the video in what feels like a really long time. Yeah, I haven't filmed the video in like a really long time. So I'm back. Hello. Oh, I am really out of focus right now. God, what is going on here? Just that should be better. I don't think I'm gonna cream highlight. I think I'm just gonna go in with um I'm just gonna mix these two guys together. This is Soft and Gentle and Whisper of Guilt from MAC. Yeah, I'm not gonna go with the cream highlight, I'm just gonna do these guys. Just kind of mix them together a little bit. From far away, this looks fine. It looks okay. Up close, I hate it. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of blush. I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do my little Tarte guy, the fairy flush that I love so much. Boop, boop. I like the pink and I think it's gonna tie in nicely with the shit show that I have in my eyes. Okay, then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look at Anne's picture one more time. She didn't do black liner. I'm not gonna do black liner. She, it looks like she did like lavender. I think I'm gonna try and do purple, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna do rich purple. The chromographic pencil from MAC. Oh, here's my sharpener. I know this tutorial feels like all over the place. Sorry, my anxiety is just going off right now. And then also, the palette's just like throwing me off. Okay, so I did some purple. Then I'm gonna take my MAC 212. That is dirty. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do um, on a MAC 221 brush. I'm gonna take the color Love and tap that baby off. And I'm just gonna go underneath the eye with this this guy here. Then I'm gonna do my little Morphe guy, M507. I'm gonna take the color called Soul. I was watching a John McClain video last night, and for like a solid like few minutes in the video, he was just totally out of focus, and he didn't say anything about it. Like not in the video, not in the description box, not on Twitter, and I'm just like. 
It was a Crayola video, by the way, so it was, it's kind of older, but like, still. Oh, I don't want to do this color. I think I'm going to take Drama onto the lower lash line. I was going to do Passion there, but I really don't like that blended out with the purple. I'm going to mix a little bit of Celestial in, but mostly Drama. Isn't the name of one of Jeffree Star's dr dogs Drama? I feel like it is. But I'm taking the MAC 212 and I'm kind of just like hugging the lashes. I'm going to take a little bit more, or no, I'm not taking any extra product, just going over the brush, going over with the brush. Now I am taking more product, a little bit of sole, kind of lightly feathering that baby underneath there. So pretty. Okay, let's do, I think I'm going to take a little bit of the color called, oh, you know what? Mix a little bit of Wild Child. So I'm going to put a little bit of Wild Child in the inner corner of the eye. This was a color also in the last attempt that I didn't like at all. Uh, then I'm going to take the color called Dreamer, which is this guy up here. And I'm going to kind of layer that over the top of Wild Child. Yeah, from far away I don't hate it. From up close, I'm just, it's not cute. Um, I'm going to do mascara and lashes off camera. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I said I was going to put lashes on. But I don't think I am going to. Um, lashes usually can save a look always, but I also don't really want to waste <clears throat> a pair of lashes on something that I don't love. Like I've looked at it for a little while now and I don't hate it as much as I did, but I don't think I love it too much either and I don't think I want to put lashes on it. I think I'm just going to wipe it off right after because I don't want to take this look out with me. Um, but I am going to finish up lips real quick, just kind of finish up the tutorial. Is my door open? My door is open. Uh, I'm going to use a uh, Subculture lip pencil from MAC. Ooh, you know what? I literally stashed a whole bunch of lipsticks in my bag for when I went out the other night. Um, I'm going to use the color Soft Touch from Anastasia. And then for a little bit of gloss, I'm going to go in with the MAC. This is one of the new Grand Illusion liquid lip colors. This is in the color Just Hustlin', which is such a really cool duochrome kind of gray purple. Thought that it might uh, tie in super nicely with the eyes. I'm just gonna do like a light layer of that a little bit. All right, and this is the finished look. I know it's not like complete with lashes, but I don't love it. I'm gonna test this powder out some more, see if I can maybe get it to work in my favor. But if it doesn't, I'm going to return it, which is unfortunate because I love Anastasia palettes. I have some in my my drawer. Um, and it kind of sucks, I don't want to return it, but, you know, what are you going to do if I'm not going to use it? If I don't like it, why should I have it? Also, I think I'm going to text um, the guy back, the guy I went on a date with. I'm going to text him back and see where that goes. I'll, uh, I'll update you guys on the situation. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you all in the next video. Um, if you like this video, then just hit the like button. And if you want to see more of this face, uh, hit subscribe. I'd love to have you here on my channel. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.